I am so, so, so excited to share with you my sewing mix in this video. Okay, so I have started my fall sewing and this sewing make that I want to share with you today is McCall 7667. Okay, let me go grab it. Okay, so first of all, let me share with you that it is a coat on the pattern. That's what it is called. Um, although on me, it didn't feel like a coat. I guess the fabric is a little bit too light feeling. Um, this is a wool fabric and it's really, really nice. I found it at a thrift store and it does have pinstripes in it. So it's really nice and it is lined. However, even when I put it on or after I put it on, it still kind of felt like more of a jacket. But the pattern does say that it is a coat. Um, it does have a belt and I really like it. I really like it. So on the pattern, the collar is worn up. However, when I actually put the garment on after I made it, I realized that it could be worn three ways. So you can wear it with the collar up, the collar down, or you can wear it just open like a regular coat. And I chose to make the version where you don't have any buttons, but you can make add up buttons if you want to, but I didn't do that. Um, so let me open it up and show you a little bit about um, what I did on the inside okay so like I said here's the belt so the belt is not attached and I did not want to buy any lining because I decided to make this at the last minute and I had the wool and I was saving it until it got a little cool but I didn't have any lining so I just went through my scraps and I tried to use every non-woven piece of scrap that I could that would fit so the inside is all types of different colors so I, I have a pink going on and then I have tan and beige and then a like a little plaid color here and technically they don't match but they kind of do and I guess they're in the same family of colors so it doesn't look too bad so I was happy that I was able to use as many scraps as I was able to use in this project and I did not line the sleeves just because I didn't want any lining there and what else there are darts on the sleeves which I thought was very different I've never done that before and oh there are front pockets so I like that that's really a nice addition I love the front pockets and then one thing I did differently was with the hem I'm sorry yeah the hem the lining so I did not follow the directions in the pattern for the way that they wanted you to um, attach the lining to the garment at the bottom. So they wanted you to do some, what am I trying to think of the word? They wanted you to do some hand stitching and I didn't want to do that. So I was able to find a tutorial on bagging the lining and I will attach that because it was very helpful for me. So what I technically did was I took the fabric not the lining I took the fabric and I made a deep hem so I folded the blue I folded it up really deep like over an inch I actually folded it up the way the uh, pattern suggested so I did follow it up to that point so I folded up the hem and I basted it down and then what I did was I turned the garment inside out so that the right side of the lining would match the right side of the turned up hem so the two pieces were on the correct side together and then I sewed across the bottom and then I flipped it back out and so that kind of gave me this bagged well not kind of it did it gave me this bagged lining which I like so the lining doesn't peek out under the jacket but then it's not too tight when you're wearing it so I like that I was really really happy with that and so um I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but by it being October, I'm sure I will get the opportunity really, really soon. So I will go ahead and show you what this garment looks like on. And in the video, I tried to take different clips of me. Well, I did. I took different clips of me wearing it in the three different ways that this jacket or coat can be worn. So you'll get to see that right now.
that is my coat slash jacket and the other sewing make that i have to share is this tilly and the buttons agnes top and i have made this before the first time i made it my fabric had too much lycra and so the sleeves kind of sagged down but this one they fit or no, not fit they um show exactly how the pattern was intended i believe for the uh, sleeves to be where it kind of you know kind of sticks up on the side because of the elastic in there so i like that and i just kind of tucked it in with some jeans let me stand back so yeah it's really simple i did match the stripes on the side and you know what i will link a video showing um how i match my stripes so if you're interested you can just click on that um but yeah so that is it those are my two sewing makes and my love share for today is where did it go let me find it oh okay here it is the state of Oregon allows students a certain number of excused absences for taking mental health days off from school. So I thought that was very interesting. So thank you for watching. You will see me in the next video.